What's up with it, Almighty Boys? AJ Almighty back at it again with another video. As you can see in the background, we got the Jigsaw and the Road Glide sitting there. So, but today's video is going to be on the truck, the 2023 F-150. I decided to get rid of it. Um, it was a good truck. Nothing wrong with it. I actually just got a piece of mail in the, uh, a piece of mail saying that the it got an airbag recall on it now. But I sold the truck now, so it's not my problem. But anyway, I decided to get rid of the truck. For one of the main reasons was to be able to uh, free up cash flow to do other things that y'all might prefer to see on the channel more. So you'll see a lot of mods coming for this bike, a lot of mods coming for that bike, and also a lot of fix and flips, whether it be cars, dirt bikes, motorcycles. It'll give us more things to do with the money that we freed up instead of having the uh, 2023 F-150. Uh, now, so I picked, now since we got rid of the 2023 i have picked up another truck which is a 2010 f-150 six inch lift uh 22 by 12s on 37s 5.4 liter v8 triton v8 and uh it's been a good truck everybody that's seen it now i've done some mods to it that y'all will see in future videos i just been kind of lax on recording and um uh, putting out content but i'm about to get back in the flow of things i just some stuff came up that i was trying to take care of first so now we got everything straightened in order and i'm gonna be bringing y'all consistent videos now back to back so i have done some mods to the truck already that y'all will see in upcoming videos but everybody that's seen this truck says that they like it and you know prefer it over the 2023 so i mean that wasn't the main reason for getting rid of it because it wasn't liked by a lot of people but it was just personal preference me i always wanted a lifted truck and so now i got one and it also like i said enabled us to do more stuff on the channel by not having such an expensive truck so with that being said I, I also already did pick up a flip car which was a 2011 ford fusion the fix and flip but that got sold to a family member already so y'all won't see that content because i didn't get to even complete the car in its entirety before it was sold i just pretty much sold it to them for a little bit you know more than what i had into it just a couple hundred bucks over what i had into it just to make it worth it for my time going to pick up the car the work i had already done into it but for the most part we broke even but pretty much i've already right now i'm shooting this in the future and then i'm gonna take y'all back to the past because everything that y'all will see in this video has already been taken care of and so far it's been you know fun y'all see me having to do all the wire and stuff to this truck uh for the mods they put in on there weren't wired up correctly, the sub wasn't wired up correctly and things like that. But I'm actually enjoying this truck more than I was enjoying the brand new truck. This has given me something to work on, something that you know we can build on and not you know really break budget with and still be able to build these toys. So next, I, I do want to get a YZ450F, that's next and go get a uh, Mustang. So those two things I'm working on trying to bring to the channel, saving up the money so I can go cash them out and bring those two toys to the channel. But pretty much I got, you know, everything that, that I, I could ask for right now. Got the lifted truck that they, people love to hate on lifted trucks because they say you got, you know, you, you trying to let, you trying to uh, compensate for something. I got the Jixxer, which makes me a Jixxer, bro. All the sport bikes riders hate these and love to talk crap about having this and then i got the harley which everybody loves to say that i'm an old man so i'm just catching hate left and right pretty much with everything that i got and then we're gonna add a mustang to the to the mix they're gonna say i'm the worst driver i, I got all the hate i'm buying all the hate so i'm pretty much just having fun with this man it's no real you know no real rhyme or reason to why i get what i get i just get what i like and what matches my colorways and that's pretty much how it goes all of this stuff is just for my own you know for my own pleasure and stuff like that. And I just do the YouTube because a lot of people said that they like to, to see the stuff that I do, whether it be working on something, riding, or just chilling out with the guys. This is something that I just do to pass time and just to grow a fan base off of just because I would do it anyway with the YouTube channel or without a YouTube channel. These toys are things that I would have with the YouTube and without. So holding a camera and recording is just something that I do just to be doing. Now, I will upgrade the quality of the videos and the production of the videos, like getting more cameras, getting actual mics to hook on so y'all get better audio and try to upgrade the watchability of this channel pretty much. But as I see it grow, then I'll invest more money into it. So right now we, you know, shoot videos off the phone, edit off of iMovie and 
you know, take a thumbnail with a, with a cell phone. But y'all see this video, we'll have, a, you know, a thumbnail that was created for me. I'll start working on production and trying to take this channel to the next level. But the first milestone is to get to a thousand. That's what I'm working towards. That's where I'm trying to get to. And as we get there, I'll spend more money and not only just toys and things for y'all to watch and see and for us to do together, but I'll also spend money in upgrading the, the production of the channel. So I'm going to cut this right here. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see the truck, reveal it, and uh, you'll pretty much watch me do all the work that I've done to it thus far. And then in an another upcoming video, I will show the mods that I've already done, such as the grill, the headlights, and things like that, and more stuff that's to come on the truck by the time that video comes out. And then I got two other videos that I need to shoot uh, from a company called Oxido that sent me some LEDs that were for the 2023 F-150, but I will be installing those on my grandmother's vehicle and doing a headlight restoration for her, so look out for that video. And we also got some um, slingshot covers in from Star Knight MT, I believe. So y'all see that video. I still can do slingshot content, even though I don't personally have one anymore. My dad still has slingshots, so I can still bring y'all slingshot content. If that's something that y'all do want to see more on the channel, it wasn't doing a lot of numbers for me at the time. So that's why we decided to pick up this, which y'all over and above, this is the most watched video on the channel. Y'all love this thing the most out of any other toy that I have. So I will be, like I said, upgrading production, trying to get a GoPro, uh, helmet cam and a mic, all that moto blog setup stuff to bring y'all more videos. Just, it takes time, you know, just y'all be patient with me. Stay tuned. Thanks everybody for getting me to 400 subs. I think I hit 400 subs yesterday. And just pretty much, I appreciate y'all for locking in, watching the videos and sticking around. So. For y'all, wait no further. Here we go, let's get into the truck. All right, YouTube, let's get into the reveal. 2010 F-150, 5.4 liter V8, 4x4. It's got a six inch rough country lift on there with 37s. I don't know exactly how wide those fuels are. I'm guessing they're probably 12s or what? I'm unsure right now, but I'll figure out in a second. This is my first ever lifted truck. So obviously I'm gonna have to do some work removing the decals, switching out the the uh, lights and stuff because some of this stuff is draining my battery. Even the terminals running up to the battery doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a fuse or any of that stuff on there. So I'm gonna end up pulling that stuff out. These, they have these wired onto the fog lights for whatever reason makes no sense to me but the fog lights don't even come on that they have on here so i just pulled the switch oh, maybe it's got to be on there we go so yeah these are wired to the fog lights for whatever reason i don't understand why you just wouldn't wire that to the daytime running lights these fog lights haven't been working so they're coming off the um, light bar, it works, but really overall, the wiring on this truck, whoever put these mods on here, like the rock lights and the, uh, the, the light bars, they didn't do a good job at all. So right now what I'm gonna work on is taking all this stuff off because I was just riding around and the when I parked, the battery died. So I gotta get all this stuff situated. I'm gonna give y'all a look. As y'all can see, if th I guess this is the sub wire. I don't see any fuse or anything. I mean, I've had subs once before and normally has like a big block of like a fuse or some kind of, I'm not that, like I said, I'm not that big on audio. All this wiring, this somewhere, all this is hanging, dangling down here. This is the control box for the uh, rock lights. So all this stuff I'm gonna have to take off because there are shorts, there's a short somewhere and it's causing my battery to die. And I think it is arcing off the frame. There's also a train horn up under there. So most of this stuff will be coming off just for the simple fact that it's not wired correctly. Everything is 
wrong but i probably will end up keep the, keeping this box and getting a new amp and stuff like that. so like i said i just had to jump it leaving from where i was at because the batteries died but there's obviously some cheap AutoZone LEDs in here plugged into the cigarette cigarette lighter that needs to come out. This amp and stuff is junk. And then there's just loose wires everywhere. Like, what does that connect to? Nothing. There's another one back here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's another one back here not connected to anything. So this whole truck, whoever did this, just, that is aftermarket, but they put a screw in it because I guess it stopped flapping, but the lights never turn off. Also up there in the front, that map light up there would not never turn off. It would just stay on 24 seven. For some reason, this light, the third brake light isn't turned off when it needs to turn off. So I, I just gotta go over this truck and rip out everything that they put in here pretty much. All these switches, half of them don't work. They're not wired to anything. Like I said, this is the LED stuff that's plugged into the cigarette lighter that he put in here. And that's junk. So in order to figure out what's going on, I gotta take all this wiring off, disconnect all this stuff. And then I'm gonna also take this battery to AutoZone and make sure it's good. So y'all see me start working on that. I'll try to record as much as I can, as best as I can. But right now I'm in a time crunch, so I'm just gonna try to knock it out as fast as possible. And they also have a couple things running into the fuse box that don't need to be on there. So. Like I said, y'all just bear with me. Give me a second. Let me get these tools out and start taking some of this wiring out because it's just all of this stuff I don't need. Plus, it's uh, killing my battery. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to start with getting whatever this is attached to my fuse. Probably should pull the, the ground off first. Don't know, but it's coming off. All right, got the ground off. Gonna take this sub wires off and this stuff off. Uh, what is this? And then whatever wire this is up under here. But got the ground off. Finna go ahead and take this stuff off. I'll get right back to y'all as soon as I get it off. All right, so I got the this positive terminal off. Whatever was hooked to this, I don't know where that's running. This one was on there too, and it's just wire nutted into this makeshift harness that they made. And then, okay, so cool. They got it going into the fuse box right here. That's coming out and out of there. Cool, so move all that. Don't know what it goes to, and I'm not sure about this one just yet, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Let me get this off real quick, because my main objective is to get this whole makeshift wiring harness that they made to come out of here so it's still connected there i took it off of the fuse box and i took it off of the positive already and then i will disconnect from down here because i know these are running to those f-150 lights the light up f-150 lights on the side when it looks like they grind uh use the ground right here for the hood latch so i'm gonna take that off from there as well so i'll get right back to y'all as soon as i find out what else needs to be disconnected all right, so this is running up to those F-150 lights. It comes down, runs down the side, and then they had this ground right there on the uh, latch. And then they have it pigtailed into, which is what I'm guessing is the fog light, original fog light. Um, that's the, the fog light plug that's the reason why this only comes on when the fog light is pulled out on the inside because obviously it's not plugged in and it makes sense so cool that's that's the f-150 side light right there unplugged got that dealt with the other one is right here coming from the side light run down below under there somewhere and i believe it's coming to right here so the ground is already off and then just like the other side they have it pigtailed into the original fog light plug so i'm gonna just go ahead and snip that there and i'll deal with fixing getting all this stuff back to original 
once I get it all sorted out. Now these, this wire loom, these loom wires is, where is it going to? The, the LED lights that's behind the bumper guard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly disconnect these. So I got those two unplugged, and then it's running. I have to undo the zip tie there to get to those, but it's coming along. And what what else is on this side? There's a relay for these right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and snatch the relay out. Pretty much my right now what I'm I'm not working on trying to preserve any of this stuff. All the stuff that I'm taking out is coming out the truck and when I redo it, it's all gonna be done correct. So yeah, I'm snipping the wires. If I gotta cut it, if whatever I gotta remove to pull all of this stuff out and get it off of my battery terminals, that's what's gonna happen right now. And then when I redo everything, it's all gonna be right. This this is not the way to do stuff. Do not if you can't afford to buy stuff that's plug and play or requires little to no modifications to put on your truck really or you not gonna hook it up to the right thing like why would you hook up side lights to the fog fog lamp switch i don't know but if you're not gonna do it right don't do it this is not the way to do stuff because then people like me got to come back behind you and find every electrical issue that you didn't cause by doing this so let me continue doing what i'm doing i'll come back to y'all with another update i'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh the relay for this right now it should just be one eight or ten mil volt back there all right, went ahead and took that took that bolt off of that ground that ground over there. The relay took that off. Now the relay splits. The relay was going. This plug was for the light in the front. That's what that was going to. Then it splits into two other ways. It's going into this main makeshift harness that they made, and then to the ground. Yeah, so let me take this ground off here and then we'll be good to go. Until we further discover what else is hooked up incorrectly in this here. This where we are now. I just went ahead and taped up that turn that lead for the subs. Well, I don't want that sitting down there. It might touch something uh, hot. But pretty much I got to this point and now the only thing that's wrapped around is one of these wires going to something. One of these lights that just needs to be snipped so I can pull this whole there I go. I got it. Just went ahead and cut that because they had it wrapped around. So now I should be able to pull all this back. What is this? So this looks like it's going into the headlight for. I'm guessing that's just daytime running lights because the original factory bulb should still be back there. But yeah, this is probably daytime running lights. I'm not, I don't wanna, I'm just cut it here just so it's not too short if I do have to end up running that again somewhere. So I'm just gonna leave that up there for right now and then should be able to pull all of this back this way. What is it caught up on here? Why did you run? Like, come on now, dog. <laughs> What's up? Why would you run that around that that line for no reason? What is that? A freaking cooling line or something? Or AC line? One or the two. Something, but it shouldn't be around there like that. This one got to get snipped, too. So we got it all the way back to here. We got it all the way back to there. So much better. And I ain't even got it all off yet. Looking like this. <laughs> you probably should, you don't deserve to work on a car ever again if this is the type of work you do. Like, that's not it. Where is, okay, that's going to that F-150 light on the side. Got you. So let's see where we caught up down here. Might have to remove the air box. Probably not even bolted in. 
if it is not by much so I can get the rest of this stuff pulled up out of here. All right, so got these fully out. I just went ahead and yanked them off because it's already dry, brittle, and cracking anyway. I cut the line before I knew I, could, I was gonna yank them out, but I don't care about this anyway. Like, I'm gonna just go with regular black badges and call it a day, so that I don't care about. I'm gonna, you know, use the uh, adhesive remover and stuff to get all this stuff off, but I'm glad we got that out of there and taken off of the fog light uh, switch. And here's the other one, like a dry, brittle, discoloring. So that's how I've got it back to here. And now I'm gonna have to get a ladder or something just so I can get in there and see over it and see what all is under there, where it's connected to, what it's going to, and try to take out the rest of the stuff little by little. Cause I don't want to accidentally cut some, like since I don't know really what all this wiring is. I mean, I know it goes to the rock lights, yada, 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 but I don't want to cut something that I need to keep on here. And just cause I'm rushing and like frustrated with it, I just get to cutting and yanking it out. So I'm gonna grab a ladder real quick, take my time and I'll show y'all wh what uh I discover once I get to this part. But so far we got those out. We got this disconnected. We got the ones that are here disconnected. And that's that's cool with me because this whole, I'm taking off the whole front bumper. Probably y'all see it later on in this video if I put it in this video or make another one. But this uh, bull bar and the whole front bumper is gonna come off anyway and get replaced. So all that's gonna come out and I'm gonna rock one with no fog lights on it. So those don't even matter. None of that stuff matters. And the little, the fog light connectors won't matter. So I'll deal with that later, but I'm gonna run a like pretty simple steel front bumper that doesn't need fog lights. Cause I don't care about having fog lights. I just want to have the uh, wheel lights and uh, the rock lights that I'm going to put in myself and make sure all that stuff is done correctly and not how they did it. All right. So pretty much said I wasn't going to just cut and snip. I am paying attention to what it is that I'm cutting, but there's pretty much no nice way to do that. Like do this with the way it's all tangled up and wrapped around down there. So I just cut this uh, amplifier off. What we'll changes the colors for the lights under the bottom, the rock lights and that relay and then i'm just gonna simply remove stuff little by little and just pay attention to where it's going and um where it's coming from pretty much all right y'all i've cut most of it back you know see it's all clean all down the sides to the front except for these i'm gonna pull out when they're connected to one of the um fog lights um looks like they connected pretty much all of them to this one bolt, Let's see if I can get y'all a good look at it. Uh, they're pretty much connected all to this one bolt on the brake booster. On the brake booster, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out, and then we'll be able to yank out majority of the rest of this stuff. And then I'll go around and try to fish these back because that's the rock lights that's on it, and then most of these wires probably run along the uh, bed of the truck. So yeah, that'll be next. I'll get down there and try to push those all the way down, get them all the way out. And then after that, we will come back here and deal with this train horn. There's wires hanging down here at the train horn. Like you can't take care of a vehicle any worse than this. Like this is absolutely terrible. All right, so that's everything we got out of this corner for right now. Most of this stuff, I'm gonna either uh, have end up pulling through the firewall, going through the firewall. But after that, I'm gonna switch gears and probably work on getting this out because like I said, these stay on all the time. So that's also draining my battery. And I believe that's an aftermarket modification because everything up here is, you know, the gray, uh, the gray color, tan color, whatever it is and this is black. So I don't think this came from the factory like that. And there was a dome light up here, but for some reason they put a screw in there because I guess it wasn't staying up. And since it's not closed all the way, it's keeping the lights on. So I need to go ahead and yank that down. So I'm gonna work on that next. And then we'll get to this, get uh, taking apart the uh, 
center console, all this stuff, and getting out these LEDs that were AutoZone specials that you plug into the thing. Where is that? Oh yeah, see, this is all the wiring that's running out of here into the firewall. So I'm gonna end up taking this apart. I'm gonna end up taking that apart. Y'all stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get this screw that they used. The screw that they used to uh, keep this closed and see if I can let's see if I can get this out. So. All right, went ahead and yanked this frame off. It exposed four more bolts. I mean, not bolts, screws. So let's go ahead and drop these. I don't want to do any cut in here because I don't know what I'm gonna need for the factory one. Even if I, I may not even run a factory though, I'm like, but let me go ahead and get this plate off real quick and then I'm gonna uh, turn y'all back on. Give me one second. All right, plate is off and this is what's behind there. So I'm gonna just go ahead and disconnect this. My best bet, bet may be to just find a headliner, go to the junkyard, find a new headliner and have them wrap it, one that doesn't have a cutout and then should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. Give me one second, can't do everything with one hand. We'll just, and I'm gonna probably end up chopping this because it's taped in and it's not done correctly anyway. So give me one second, I'll get back to y'all. All right, got all the data. All the wiring, all that stuff that I was throwing away earlier is out. And I do have the truck running by the way, so it's not like I cut anything that was needed to make sure the truck was running and everything so after that let's see what i want to work on next this is how it looks on the inside now just that I might find another headliner i'm gonna tape that stuff up just tuck it back in and we should be good for now but oh did they they put magnets ah pretty neat so what they did to keep this from sagging was they put magnets so I'm gonna tape that up, just tuck it back until I decide what I'm gonna do with the headliner. Get another one from the junkyard or see if they can somehow fill in those holes and then just rewrap the whole thing. Cause I don't even need the uh, the dome light, it's no need. If I put another set of hardwired LEDs in the truck, I won't even need the dome light. So that's how that looks right now. We're gonna go ahead and get that taped up and then I'll cut y'all back on when I get to the next thing that we're gonna be working on. All right, next I'm gonna just go ahead and take this sub box out of here because it makes no sense for it to be in here. It has two dollar stove Pioneer <laughs> tins in here. One of them doesn't even fire. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get this unscrewed and I'm gonna bring this in the garage real quick because there's no need for this to even be sitting in here. You get caught in the H with a setup like this, oh, it's over with for you. Let's, let's, let somebody see this back here, man. Ain't no way. That's junk. But let me go ahead. I'm going to pause y'all for a minute so I can uh, pull this out and put it in the garage real quick. And then I'll turn y'all back on once I get to taking the amp out. All right. Now on to this badly wired amp. Cool. That's the stuff that I pulled off the box. It's one of them doggone LEDs. I got my seat all the way forward. All right, got the seat all the way forward. Yeah. Well, your amp, your amp wires got tape on them? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna pull these. What's this? Pull that. Stay. This I can just rip off, and these 
these I will just unscrew. Straight to the trash. This is junk. How many watts is this? 1500? Trash. Bubba Dub voice. Trash. I'll leave those right there until I have a chance to pull everything through the firewall. Because I'm pretty sure that's where it's going. And then in the meantime, we will get to working on that. All right, y'all. Yesterday was day one. That was day one of me working on the truck. It's day two. We still got more stuff to work on. Got to work on the cylinder console, getting all that stuff out of there. So let's go ahead and get into that. I'm gonna flip the camera around and walk y'all through everything that I take out on the inside. Got to pull this panel out. You just yank down from the corner and it should come right out. So boom, that's everything that's running in there. Wind up getting that splice. This, you just pull up on both sides and it should come right out. I'm gonna let that part fall down in there. And I'm gonna need two hands to try to pick this up, get this up real quick. But I already took off the other side, so let me go ahead and get this center part out and then we should be good. All right, on the underside of this tray, they got an LED stuck to it. So. Jesus. work earlier so we're getting straight straight to it that was my lunch from earlier so boom got the led off there and then this is what we have up here at the top so go ahead and unplug all these connectors My phone had died, got it back on now. So pretty much I unplugged all the connectors off of this switch panel that they made. Took off the two wire nuts there. And uh, we just gonna pretty much get all this stuff yanked out of here. And most of it, honestly, I can just cut out and pull it back through the side here. going to the other side so I'll get to that one in a second uh, I have no idea so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it and I'll figure it out once I get down there so give me a second, let me take a look at where this is going to and where this is going to, and I'll get it yanked out. All right, so after pulling them back from out of there, they are running, majority of them are running over here. So I just clipped all the zip ties that they had holding all this stuff up, cause they used pretty much a whole bag of zip ties to hold this stuff up. I'm gonna get the eight mil to take that ground off. And some of this stuff is running up to the uh, to radio, so. I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end up having to pull that to see what all is up there but I got all this stuff pulled down disconnected all I gotta do is I'm gonna probably splice it cut everything that's right here right before the firewall then pop the hood of the truck and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the wires from that end after I cut them I pulled a lot of those through the firewall from the inside of the cab this one is the first one I yanked through back to the front, so that will be coming out. It's not many left down here now. I can pretty much just get out of there. 
Okay, this one has a connector on it, I believe, so it's probably just stuck. Yep, there you go. This this is what's connecting the, what I'm guessing is the um, rock lights. That's what I'm thinking this goes down to, because if you see this wire, it's running all the way down to the bottom of the truck. So I'm guessing that's where that's going. What is this? So it's something dangling back there. It's the horn or a secondary one that they put on let me go ahead and cut this out okay that makes sense so i just cut that um what i thought was a horn after it fell broke but that's actually the siren because they have an alarm system put on here so this wire after i cut the siren off of the end i pulled it back inside and actually this wire is going up to right behind here so they put the security system right behind there but the guy told me that the security system doesn't work so i'll be yanking it out and that's the uh i guess the uh locator and the little blue led light that normally blinks on security systems so i'll be getting that out of there soon so i'm gonna just have to either remove this panel and this stuff and get behind there i'll show y'all when i get to that but let me make sure that i have everything removed that i can remove from right here this i will end up dropping down and what is this just sitting there so yeah pretty much it's all clear clean i'm gonna put that cap back on the firewall and i'm gonna drop these wires down to the ground because it's going to the uh to the rock lights so that should be somewhere in here where is that room plugged into okay gotcha so this line right here is running to the rock lights and that's the one i was just tugging on trying to pull out so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one black wire right there zip tie off so that can come off and this should be the rest of what's left at the top yep cool and then i just gotta follow it all the way down the side of the truck but as y'all can see we got this whole area cleaned up we still got some just extra spare stuff taped to other wires and stuff that I'll come back and clean up like these little ends and that right there. They're not included in any of the main wiring harness. They just taped it up to run stuff across and through wherever else is going. So I'll come back and touch all that stuff up. But for right now, I think next I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this out or I'll probably might be able to just run it back through. I don't even have to cut it. Down. No matter of fact, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it because I don't feel like dealing with this or trying to take the headlight off to get it out. So let me cut this out real quick and then I'll turn y'all back on. All right, so now I'm up under the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this stuff back, cut the zip ties that's holding it up, and uh. Just pretty much pull all this stuff back. This. So pretty much down the whole body of the truck, cutting the zip ties and pulling them back. I'm on the driver's side right now. Once I get all the way down to the end, I'll cut y'all on and then we'll deal with the train horn down there. All right, so that's all the line running along the side of the truck. I cut all the zip ties. They had it wrapped around the frame in certain areas, zip tied up kind of funny, but that's all the wire that came off down to this side, 
all the way back to the train horn. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side and get all the, the wire from that side and then eventually get these off the uh, rock lights. So let me get to that side, work on that side, and then I'll cut y'all back on. All right, so driver's side of the truck is done. All of the wires that cross over are in that nest right there. And then I got one, which looks like a ground wire running all the way to the back, I believe, back to the train horn. So, well, it might be just going to that rock light, actually. So I'm going to get in there, see what zip ties and stuff I got to take off there. I'm going to show y'all as much as of that as I can and uh, take this line on the passenger side all the way down to the back. So give me a second to do that and I'll cut y'all back on and do, like I said, show y'all as much of this part as I can. So let me get up over on that side and go ahead and knock it out. Boom. Those two wires that were dangling on the other side of the truck, I've already pulled those two back through. So all I have to do now is there's a ground up there that they put on. I will come back with an eight mil and get that off. But for right now, let me just go ahead and cut that off right there. These are both the, um, well, before I cut it off, let me see what's running. Okay, cool. This line running over there, pull that back. I'm gonna cut the zip ties off of here first. That one. What else? That one. And I'm gonna just pretty much cut around this. And then, well, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much just see where this is okay that's running to the other side over here which should come out if i pull those lines out so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it here that one and go ahead and cut this one boom so all this should drop out except for the wire that's going around the frame. So I'm gonna cut this one, and now all this should drop out. Yep. Here we go. Get that zip tie out of there, and that looks like that's it for that for this side. And now these two wires here, I just gotta pull out to the other side. That's one, and that's this one running to the. Uh, rock light in the back. So let me get over there, push this line all the way down to the back, and then we'll get to the air horn. All right, we're back, phoned out again, but pretty much I just went ahead and removed the rock lights from the front and the back. I pulled the rest of the wiring through and the back was bolted up there. But yeah, pretty much those, the front ones had a uh, Phillips head screws and then the back ones had eight mil self tappers so i need to get under there one more time and pull off the um pull off the ground that i showed y'all that was under there and then this one ground on the other side on the driver's side that i need to pull off i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick and pretty much all, only thing that's left is the train horn and whatever wiring's back there to deal with that so i'll get to that as soon as i get these two um these two grounds off all right, YouTube, it's day three on the truck build. Right now, we're working on pulling off this bullhorn. Got my homeboy Terry out here. He's working on it right now. So, y'all will see this in the video. I was going to save this part for the next video, but I guess the next video, I just put the new the new mods that I install on here will be in the second video. So, right now, he's taking off the last couple bolts in the bull bar. We're going to take that off and throw it in the back of the truck, and that'll pretty much be it for this part. All right, y'all, that's going to be the end of this video. If you stayed all the way to the end, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
And uh, pretty much, y'all, as y'all seen, it took three days to get, you know, most of the truck done and it's still not complete. And I start, I have started doing mods to it. Y'all will see that video soon. But three day process of trying to remove all that wiring, you know, with trying to go to work, get off and work as much as I can till it gets dark. But there's the Jigsaw. That's the, the grill that we took off the truck. So there is a new grill on there. Y'all see that in some more videos. Obviously, there goes the, uh, the road glide. But... We got a new addition to the channel that probably will be a fix and flip. It won't stay because, like I said, I wanted to get a YZ450, but just a little Easter egg for the ones that stayed to the end. We got a YZ. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank y'all for watching again and stay tuned. Almighty boys, I'm rocking with y'all. Make sure y'all rock with me. I'm out of here. Peace.